Are you a photographer on a tight budget and you're looking for inexpensive gear? Or maybe you have that one friend that's a photographer and you're looking for gift ideas that don't break the bank. Well, you're in the right place because I've compiled a list of 10 must have photo accessories and they're all under $10. So number one on the list is lens cleaning cloths. You can never have too many lens cleaning cloths. There are so many different ways your lens can get dirty in the rain and the snow, the sand, the dust. I have probably, without exaggerating, a hundred of these. They're fantastic. When I go shoot, I keep them in my pocket. They're super cheap. They're under $10. You can find a pack of them if you want to. I have at least one in every single camera bag when I go shoot. I have them in a variety of colors. There are also ones that you can get that you can clip onto your camera strap and they come in these little pouches to keep them clean. Then when you need them, you just pop them right out and you can fold them right back in. So number two on the list, Air Blaster. I love these things. They're great for those places you can't reach with your lens cleaning cloth and you just squeeze this and it blasts air onto whatever section of your camera or other gear that you're trying to clean. If you get dust or sand and little parts that you can't reach with the cloth and you don't wanna be blowing on any part of your camera, especially anything in your sensor area, you don't want any moisture to get in there. And you definitely don't wanna be using those cans of compressed air. You can easily damage your sensor and freeze components of your camera, just a bad idea. It's so much simpler to get one of these air blasters and they're under $10, which is awesome. So number three on the list is a gray card. I love having a gray card. They're fantastic for getting amazing color so that you remember what your color was on the scene. Even if you're shooting raw, you wanna remember exactly what your proper color balance was when you were shooting the photo. You can also use the center. Some of them have crosshairs on them for getting focus. And some gray cards are super awesome and fold up and fit right in your pocket. And on the back of this one, I have a little bounce card so I can do some cool effects with some fill light. So number four on the list is clamps. These clamps come in handy all the time. They're super cheap. I always carry one or two in my bag. They're great if you want to hang something like a backdrop on a C-stand or you need something attached to your tripod real quick or maybe you have to wind up some cords and you don't want them getting unwound, just throw a quick clamp on it and this solves a lot of problems when you're out in the field and you have no way to keep things together or maybe keep something held down if it's windy or clamp something onto your camera bag when you're traveling. So next on my list is SD card holders or CF card holders. The biggest thing is that you keep your cards protected. So I have this little mesh one right here and then inside I keep it in another SD card protector because this is where all of your work sits on this tiny little piece of plastic that's super fragile and can easily get lost or damaged. I want this thing in one of the bigger cases that I can find so that if it's bustling around in my camera bag, I'm not gonna lose it. If it happens to fall out, I'll notice it. But in here, it's extremely well protected and I can step on this thing and it's not gonna break. So in the description below, I have some links to some even better ones that I've purchased in the past and I absolutely love these and they are a must have for photographers. Number six on my list is rubber jar openers. I try and keep one of these in every single one of my camera bags. They're super inexpensive and they don't take up any room. Have you ever had a UV filter or a polarizer stuck on your lens and no matter how hard you tried, you just can't get it off? Well, that's where jar openers come in handy without damaging your lens or your filter. And they're just a great way to get those stuck filters off or anything that gets stuck together. And sometimes I get my tripod head stuck or something like that. But that is why jar openers are on my must have list. So number seven on my list is colored gels. Now, gels are absolute game changers when it comes to photography. Now, as you can see to my right over here, I have this bluish greenish kind of teal light and that just kind of adds this little bit of pop or an accent light. And you can do that super easily with colored gels. They're just little pieces of, I believe, polycarbonate and you can throw them directly on top of your light and they're made out of pretty highly resistant materials to heat but do be careful if you leave these directly on a light too long, they could melt to your bulb. So try and keep them away a little bit, but 
let's say I want to make a sunset a little bit more orange. I have an orange gel here. I can use it as a graduated filter right on top of my lens or directly in front of my light. And gels come in a variety of colors, shapes, sizes. I can use huge gels and let's say I wanted to make this light a little more warm. I use a gel there. Maybe I want to make this light a little bit more cool. So I can use another cool gel over there. So gels are an absolute game changer for photographers and you can easily find some for under $10. Number eight on my list is, number eight on my list is gaffer's tape. This comes in handy just about as much as a clamp. Something always goes wrong when you're shooting and that something can almost always be fixed by taping it back together. Gaffer's tape is like the duct tape of the photography world and if you don't have some in your camera bag, you're wrong. I always carry gaffer's tape on every important shoot that I go to and most unimportant shoots that I go to because like I said, everything goes wrong. At some point, something falls apart and it can almost always be fixed by taping it back together. And gaffer's tape is super strong. You can tape just about anything. So pick up a roll of gaffer's tape. Number nine on my list is one of these hot shoe ball head mounts and it comes with a little quarter 20 screw on top so you can mount a whole bunch of things right onto the hot shoe of your camera. In the past I've mounted GoPros right to the top of my camera. I will mount my Zoom H4n recorder right to the top of my camera so I can plug it in and you can mount just about anything with these standard tripod heads. It goes right in your hot shoe mount, it locks on and with this ball head I can spin it around and mount things in a bunch of different positions and these things are super useful and under ten dollars last but not least number 10 on my list of must-have photo accessories is film now film is a little bit more than an accessory in my opinion do you know any photographers that still shoot on film because you can easily pick them up a couple rolls of film for under ten dollars and they will be extremely grateful and if you're a photographer and you haven't played with film yet I highly recommend it because it's a completely different experience and it's a great learning opportunity and it's just a lot of fun. So that is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching until the end. Those are my must have photo accessories under $10. I will have links to everything in the description down below so you can pick up your photo accessories. And if there's any accessories under $10 that I missed, make sure you let me know down below in the comments. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more of my videos every weekend. And until next time, get out and go shoot.